98% of employees will be disengaged if their managers give little to no feedback. What I figured out pretty quickly is that those managers that were crushing it uh, in a great way, they have what's called emotional intelligence. And so there's emotional intelligence that looks at a lot of different pieces, but one of the areas it looks at is communication. So your millennials, your Gen Y, your Gen Zs, all of those younger generations really care about feedback. And so this was a really big issue that I found when I was doing a lot of coaching with teams is that too often a lot of managers, what were they doing? They were relying on their annual biannual performance reviews. Let's be honest about performance reviews. They are super awkward. Managers are awkward to give it. People are awkward to receive it. It's like way too late. So by the time you're actually getting any feedback, it's, you know, you can't even course correct it. So they're completely ineffective. But here is my golden rule with it is that anything that is in that performance review, you have already talked about in a ahead of time. So there's nothing that is, um, that is surprising for that person, but from a from a, a perspective around how do you actually move the needle how do you progress your team how do you develop your people performance reviews are not the way i will tell you that consistently and they certainly are not going to help you with retention what you want if your goal as a professional a manager an entrepreneur business owner if your goal is to retain your top talent especially the younger generations they care about regular ongoing feedback. This is not micromanaging. This is not coddling. This is not babysitting. These are all words that actually I hear. This is actually really great managing and really great leadership.